In this tutorial video, you are about to see how to configure Ableton Slide and Smart Extensions Push and Pull to work together. Ok, first we are going to arrange Live's window so we can see Live and Push and Pull at the same time. This is only needed for configuration purposes. After configuration, you can maximize Live's window and work as usual. Now, let's run Push and Pull. If you have correctly installed MIDI Yoke, you have to see MIDI Yoke ports here, in menu MIDI In and in menu MIDI Out. This is very, very important to avoid MIDI feedback in Push and Pull. For MIDI In, just MIDI Yoke NT2 has to be selected and for MIDI out, just MIDI Yoke NT1 has to be selected. We are going to use MIDI Yoke NT2 to get data from live and MIDI Yoke NT1 to send data to live. Now we have to set which MIDI Yoke ports we are going to use in live. So we press Ctrl plus Colon and in MIDI Sync tab, we are going to set Active on Remote for Input MIDI Yoke NT1 and set Active on Track for Output MIDI Yoke NT2. Now we have to load Push and Pull Control Clips for Live 6. Here you can see Bend and Step tracks with Push and Pull Control Clips inside. Now we press Ctrl plus M to go into MIDI map mode. Then we select Tempo and now we press Send on Push and Pull. As you can see, a MIDI control has been assigned to Live's Tempo. If this never happens, please check back your MIDI port configuration. Now, and this is very important, we have to select here in map mode now, as you can see, it's set to absolute. We have to change it to relative linear signed bit. This is the only way that push and pull can work. Now, let's set song tempo, mean and max values. We are going to set it to 110 to 150 BPMs. These values are fine if you work between 120 and 140 BPMs. Now, Let's turn off MIDI map mode. Let's focus on in-out section of both tracks. MIDI Yoke NT2 shall be selected for both tracks and MIDI Channel 1 must be selected for both tracks too. Finally, we had to do some key assignments. So we press Ctrl plus key to get into key map mode and let's assign one for pull, two for push, three for minus tempo, and four for plus tempo. And that's it. We are going out of key map mode, and now it's time to test if all is working. Let's set some tempo and press play. see that if I press 1 for example, tempo starts falling down, and when I release the key, life's tempo backs to the original value. Key 2 works the same, but raising tempo. Keys 3 and 4 change live tempo in steps, but it's useful to make little corrections to life's tempo. So, that's all, just try push and pull by yourself, and please, excuse my English. <laughs> 